Hello friends, it's me. And today is Darman Monday and we're gonna be watching a video about a famous girl who refuses to pay at a restaurant. You know, because TikTokers deserve everything for free. 10,000 likes in the first hour. Wow, that's insane. Not that I'm surprised. What are people saying? Gorgeous. You should be on the cover of a magazine. Someone said I should be on the cover of a magazine? Like, I'm famous now. I don't have to pay for anything. Love that fit. Did you get it at for... What? This girl just ate when eights asking if I got it at Forever 21. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? She's calling me poor? I'm gonna give her a piece of my mind. Wait, no. She probably meant it nicely. I don't wanna see your ugly face in my comments anymore. I only wear designer clothes, <gasps> not cheap knockoffs from Forever 21 like you. What? Oh, she just asked where you got it from. Is this what the Gen Z haters are doing? You know, instead of calling you ugly. Oh, that's so cute. Did you get it at Forever 21? No, you ugly pig. No, I, I don't think you should send that. Too late. I already did. Uh, you're gonna get canceled. And I'll block her too so she can't even. Real quick. Ugh, annoying. Hey, that is coward behavior. You know, blocked. I don't even wanna know what you have to say. Let me know if you need anything else. Excuse you, there's nuts in the salad. Are you trying to kill me? Oh my gosh. Did you tell me you had a nut allergy? No, you should have asked. <laughs> what? You know, if you actually put two brain cells together and used your eyes and your brains to form a single thought that didn't have to do with Instagram, you could read the menu and there it would say it has nuts. You know, what a horrible waitress. How dare she not read my mind and know that I have a nut allergy? No tip for you. Like, you should have known. I'll go talk to the chef. I don't have time to just sit around and wait. Unlike you, I have important things to do. Take it off the tab, go make me a new one, and we'll take the two to go. What, you both have a nut allergy? Then you should have said something. Stupid, I'm gonna go back and put extra nuts and then bone apple teeth. You were a little dramatic, don't you think? My life is on the line, and you think I'm being dramatic? <laughs> Hey, I know you're this big influencer now, but like my mom used to say, be nice to people on your way up because you might pass them again on your way down. Ooh, girl, who do you think you are? Influencer with a nut allergy? Unless your mom gets 10,000 likes in an hour, not taking advice from her. You're still charging us for the salad? Nuh-uh. After your screw up, everything should be free, including my friend's meal. Mandy. Why? That is so not necessary here. I Leave it, Alicia. I thought you were a big time influencer. If you can afford to wear designer, you can afford two salads at a restaurant. I don't care if it's McDonald's or Nobu. I'm not paying. I'm not sure I can do that. Well, you better figure it out. Do you know who I am? <laughs> um, no. I'm, I'm sorry. You look familiar though. Look me up on TikTok. I have over a million followers, and I would hate to have to make a story telling everyone how your restaurant sucks. <laughs> now go talk to your manager and figure this out. You know, I bet there's actually people like this. Like you get one TikTok to blow up and it's like, do you know who I am? No, who are you? Like she's been waiting her entire life to use that line. Girl, you're just embarrassing yourself. Please give her the nuts and the salad. Teach her a lesson. That girl over there, she doesn't want to pay for her food. She said she'll tell her TikTok followers not to come here. So what should I do? My kids talk about it. She recently went viral for some dance videos and gained like a ton of followers. Surprised you don't know her, Cass. You want TikTok? Yeah, but I don't have a lot of followers. Who is she? I think her name is Mandy something. Mandy Bailey? I went to middle school with her. I thought she looked familiar. <laughs> you know, it's not that much, and we don't want to get on her bad side, so just tell her we'll comp her. And she did not deserve that. If I was that restaurant, I would be making a TikTok exposing her. We have the whole thing on camera. Okay, and here are those salads, no nuts, no charge. I actually think I know where I recognize you. Sorry, no photos. <laughs> I have a huge deal to close. <laughs> Probably like three years of your salary. You know the sad part is, I think influencers in LA are actually like this. What do you mean I have to pay for my meal? Well, Mandy, I have to say, we are all very excited to work with you. Same. So are you looking for me to do a couple Instagram posts with your products or? We are thinking much bigger than that. We want to release friendship bracelets. They are not real gold to keep the price affordable for younger people. And the best part is they come with an anti-bullying campaign behind them. Oh, that's so cute, but you're definitely gonna get bullied for not wearing real gold. <laughs>
<laughs> You're asking a bully to do anti-bullying. That is a cause I am so passionate about. Girls, she said anti-bullying. You literally the bully. You the people they anti. Believe it or not, even I get bullied. Earlier today, for example, there was this girl. Don't say it, don't say it. Making fun of my outfit on Instagram. Oh no, poor thing, boo-hoo. Somebody said I shop at Forever 21. No. She called me poor without calling me poor. What'd you do? What I always do. <laughs> I called her ugly pig and I blocked her. Boom. Bond with kindness and love. Because in my heart, I just want the best for them. Are you faker than the gold on that bracelet. That is so sweet. <laughs> I wish my daughter could think like that. She's the whole reason I'm doing this. When I learned that she was getting bullied at school, seeing how sad it She's crying. I realized Busted the teardrops for this. I need to do something. So what better way than a whole campaign around friendship? And with you, Mandy Bailey, as the face of it. You want me to be the face of it? Yeah, so everybody can expose their middle school bully. Mandy Bailey bullied me for being poor. Mandy Bailey called me fat. There's a whole magazine cover involved in everything. Here's the contract. There's a $50,000. $50,000? I'm in. Girl, <laughs> calm down. There's more of that if the campaign goes as well as we hope. Oh, it will. Uh, I think it's gonna go exactly how the telescopic mascara went. How does this work? Do you give me the cash now or? Cash? <laughs> hey, Alicia. You have a Porsche now? How in the world could you afford all of this? Easy, I just have to put down 5K and then pay another 5K a month. And you're not worried about running out of money? Nope. This is like the dumbest thing people do. Why are you in such a rush to buy nice things as soon as you have just like a little bit of money? Like pay off your debt first, pay your mortgage. Don't just like rush out there and buy a new car. Like that's literally the dumbest thing that you can do. The CEO said that the 50K is just the first payment. There's gonna be lots more where that comes from. <laughs> Did you not hear anything she said? Well, clearly not, because when she said anti-bullying, she's like, me, that's me. Hey. Hey. Hey, girly. I just toured the inside. Ooh, you are gonna love this place. She got a new place already? I thought she was gonna yell at him for ruining her TikTok. It's a little bit over the price range you gave me, but well, once you see it, you won't want anything else. Oh, I'm so excited. How much over her price range are we talking? Yeah, $5,000. Over budget. <laughs> so 10 grand. 10K? A month? For one person? And you're renting? That is such a waste of money. I don't think you should be spending don't this kind of it, money. Alicia. Think about the content I can create here. It'll pay for itself. Come on now, let's go look inside. Girl, they didn't even pay you anything out of the deal. That's not how brand deals work. Like you sign the contract, you do the deal, you post the content, and then they pay you like a month or two after. You don't get the money right away and definitely not cash. Um, oh, wow, I, I can't believe it's you. Do you mind if I take a selfie with you? Sorry, I don't do photos when I don't have makeup on. Oh, it's okay, I, I can use a filter. Didn't you hear me? I said no. <laughs> what? Then why even go out in public with no makeup as a TikTok mega superstar? Um, hello? Oh great, you're that waitress. Cass? Mm-hmm, whatever. Listen. I'm surprised you remember this dress. Her. Well, I saw it first. It doesn't matter. I'm wearing this for a photo shoot, which I'm sure is way more important than whatever you were planning. You know, for the face of an anti-bullying campaign. Oh, you saw that. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, my point is, I can't believe that you still treat people like garbage. What do you mean, still? That's what I was trying to tell you at the restaurant. We went to middle school together. You still don't remember me, do you? No offense. You're just not very memorable. I remember you. You ruined everything for me. Well, this is when you expose her. You know what's funny and with my experiences with influencers I've met in real life, the ones who act the nicest like on camera are usually like horrible people in real life. When I was little, I got diagnosed with this rare health condition and had to take these pills. The pills helped me feel fine. But little did I know, one of the side effects would be they make me gain weight. So I felt really insecure about myself all the time. That was bad enough. But what made things 10 times worse is that you decided to point out how much weight I had gained in front of other students. You made fun of me constantly. The point 
where I had to spend so many of my lunches crying by myself in the bathroom. Okay, but if she made a TikTok about this, it would blow up and then down goes Ma Mason Bay. What's her name again? Madison Bay. See, I don't even know. She ain't very memorable. So you see, that's why I still deal with so much insecurity about my body. And that's why I lost so much weight too. So in other words, you should be thanking me for making you look way better. <laughs> well, you're welcome. Hi, Mandy. Thank you so much for coming into our boutique. I would if not If I can get out. you anything, if I can help you with anything. Actually, yes, there is. If you could just bring this up for me, that would be Oh, sure. Pardon me. me. You know, if you were a big time famous TikToker, you wouldn't do your own shopping for photo shoots. You literally have stylists to do all that for you. Things are going Amazingly, not only is the bracelet a hit, but it has also helped all of our stores to generate lots of publicity and most importantly, make a positive impact in the community. That's great. <laughs> Although I can't say I'm surprised. I know I said the last agreement was just to start, but now that we know this works, we want to extend your contract for next year too. So we're thinking $250,000. No way. You're kidding me. <laughs> no. That's nuts. <laughs> all you have to do is sign on the dotted line and it's all yours. <laughs> what? Um, boss, I think we have a problem. Oh, it can wait. Trust me. I ain't getting a little 250k deal. What's going on? Uh -oh. There seems to be a video going around that mentions your name. Uh-oh. Play it. One thing about me, I was bullied in school by Mandy Bailey, who thought body shaming was cool. <laughs> she laughed at me and made me cry. It got so bad that I wanted to die. <laughs> Dang! You probably want to watch it all. Did that really happen? Oh, come on. She's just jealous because my career is taking off and she's just some waitress at a restaurant. That's just one voice out of Millions. Mandy has a point. We can't just assume because one person. Oh, but said there's a lot more. Oh. I mean, that's just the most popular one. It's really going viral. Here's another one from this girl, uh, Jess818. One thing about me is Mandy Bailey sent me a DM. It wasn't anything nice. I won't even pretend. <laughs> she called me ugly, made fun of my clothes, and blocked me. And this goes <laughs> to show not all influencers are who they pretend to be. What happened to always responding with kindness and love? Uh, gotta go. <laughs> she don't even know. Is what it too late to sign that contract? Uh, yeah. Get out of here. I'm sorry to hear about what happened. It's crazy how many followers you lost from it. Oh, now she gotta move out. What happened to the porch? This is how the cookie crumbles. I had to get rid of it and my new apartment. After that waitress called me out on TikTok, everything went downhill. Well, maybe you should have been nice to her. I am so sorry. I'm sure your agent will get you another brandy. Ugh, that's over too. My agent and my manager dropped me. Ooh. It's like, what else can go wrong? If you're here to talk to me about finding a new place, honestly, I can't afford well, it. Yeah, that is not why I'm here, okay? I just came by to make sure you're cleared out because I have someone coming over see this place that was fast yeah. <laughs> it's this new up-and-coming girl she's just gone viral oh another one this is the TikTok house you know, out with the old in with the new you oh. are trying to move into my place you can't afford it as just some waitress oh this is funny you're wasting your time she is not just some waitress cass is the new face of anti-bullying oh she stole her brand deal stole her apartment hello she has a ton of big brands behind her you do yeah including that 250k deal thanks to you <laughs> no way <laughs> funny how karma goes around girl you can knock right into that i did try to you tell that you that to yourself i'm surprised you, you still got your bestie there with you up because you might just pass them again on your way down. That's true. You're supposed to be on your bestie side. Go to Forever 21, I need a new outfit. <laughs> Maybe that'll humble her a little bit. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button in the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click. And I just released some new merch. We got hoodies, shirts, tank tops at ogwolfpack.com. I'll link it below. And subscribe to the Wolfpack. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.